Right. Today's Walt is identify the properties of 3D shapes. With the person you sat next to, now I want you to find the definitions for, this in 3D shapes, what a face is, a side, and a vertex of a 3D shape. So you can use your laptops to find these. I want these down in your books, please. Today, what we're looking at, I want you to be able to work out the properties of 3D shapes from 2D representations. Describe and use geometric properties of cuboids. And when we're coming on to the higher levels, visualize and use a variety of 2D representations of 3D shapes. And finally, identifying planes of symmetry in 3D shapes. You all have a lesson online. To start with, it's 3D shapes, and you've got a task that goes with it. Can we all be getting on, please? I want you to all make sure you've got Renaissance loaded up. You all have practice on accelerated maths now, so if we could all log in. If you remember, if you need help, the peer help button is in the top right hand corner, so you can see which students have already attempted and got them questions correct, or you can ask the person next to you for help. So can we all get started, please? No, practice, Connor. Can we all work through the practice? I want you talking to your partner as you work through these, please. I think it's your control button wasn't working. So sort of thing. Last is on. Square cube. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You like the map? Which is just a large square? No, no. A cube is like a rectangle. But three. Yeah. So you so need you to make it. You need to make that side nine. You need to make it yeah, all sides so nine. You have to add the squares to make like. You need to make it. You need to make it. So, so you have nine blocks like, in it. You need to make three boxes. Like three boxes. Yeah. 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 And you have to make square. Yeah. Three square. Okay. Yeah. I draw it. Yes, you are. Yes, you And the following people, Dimitri, William, Jess and Morgan, can you go to the testing area outside in the home base please? Ellis and Tappy, can you go to the intervention area just outside the door? And the rest of you, can you carry on with your practices please? Anything else? It has 
four vertices. Five vertices. Four. Could have four, could have five, depends on how it's drawn. Which shapes on that chart have triangular faces? Um, the cone and the pyramid. No, just the pyramid. Pyramid, what about you, Ellie? Just the pyramid. It could, but that's not a flat face, that curves all the way around. So in that case, it's just the pyramid again. So if we both choose pyramid, on question two, I want you to work with yourselves, but this time in your books, before you do anything with the question, I want you to write down the properties of that shape before you look at the table, please. Okay, both of you ready to submit your answers? Let's see what you both got. Well done, Ellis. Well done, Tappy. 100% for both of you. And now be able to test on this objective. So if you'd like to take your things and go over to the testing area. Just so you remember, this is test conditions. No talking to each other. You can use your whiteboards to work out on. And when you're ready to submit, can you make me aware and we'll both see what you've got. Good luck. Yes, if we submit them. Well done, you've got all of them correct and passed both objectives. So if we look at your progress so far, we just scroll down, done really well, you've mastered 58 objectives so far. We've got 92% on your cor correct any tests overall, that's brilliant. Well done. objectives. So if you require any assistance along with your peer help you can ask these people to help you on a particular objective. So anybody from Dimitri down to Amy on 59, Dimitri to Georgia on 60 and so on. Carry on please. Right 8B2 if we can all stop there you can save your work <coughs> and close it. Shut your laptops please as we're in the last 10 minutes of the lesson. This half term, we're aiming for masterclass status. And to do that, we need to be averaging over 75% on practice. We're currently at 85%. We need 80% on review. We're currently at 90 But what we need to get up is to 40 minutes engaged time. We're going to do that by completing more objectives each week. But as a class, as we're on 85% on practice already, I want us to aim for 90% now and try and up this a little bit further. If we see as well, between you, we've managed to master 1,024 objectives. So if we keep trying to push and complete more than 8 Alpha have done so far this year.